Skip, I don't know what we're going to do. Our pitcher's been running on fumes since the fourth inning. I mean, literally, there's a giant cloud of smoke coming out of this tailpipe that I'm sorry, been out once for an environmental warning. And our right fielder, I think he's got oil leaking from his shoulder socket. There's no way he can throw home if the ball comes his way. And Miller, like a pansy, can't play because he twisted his ankle. I told you to get that thing fixed in the offseason with a flex of egg. Goodness, Skip, what are we going to do? There's no way we can protect this lead. Well, we'll find out what you could do. This is your instant game review for Baseball Highlights 2045. Baseball Highlights 2045 is a simple card game that has a deck building mechanic that's wrapped around it. You're going to be playing mini games of baseball in the future. And in 2045, because the length of play of a baseball game was too long, it's been condensed to six innings. And that's also because now there are robot players and cyborg players and players that can hit the ball long, long ways and lots of runs are being scored. Just go with it. It works. So why don't you come down to field side and take a look at how the game of baseball has changed in the future. Each game of Baseball Highlights 2045 is played over a series of mini games. You start each mini game by drawing six cards. These are the players that you will have for the entirety of the mini game. Players will take turns just playing their players into the in play box. Each player has a couple different pieces of information. They have a type, so that's either robots, naturals, or cyborgs. They have a revenue circle that'll come into play at the end of the of the mini game and then you have hit boxes and a speed they can have anywhere between zero and three hit boxes and their speed it's either slow average or fast so by playing this one you're going to say okay i have the potential of getting two singles with my rookie here and you put those pawns accordingly so now it's your opponent's turn they get to play a player now this natural has the glove ability so you do that absolutely first they can cancel one of those hits so one of these hits goes away now the one remaining single though does happen and so you have a runner on first base now note this veteran though has a triple, a slow triple that they have the potential of hitting. So that goes right here and now it's your turn to do something about that. Well, you can't really do too much about that. So you're going to go ahead and play another player here. Here, This is a robot slow double. So they actually hit a triple and you're going to try to hit a double. So your opponent's next card, he has a double potentially as a robot and this is an average double. So your double happens, the slow runners go station to station, so your runner on second and third now. Note though, that player is a robot. The rookie that they played is a robot. So now you can pull out this card. See, this says cancel all hits against a robot. And so you can cancel that potential double. You'll play cards alternatively like this until both of you played six cards. Whoever scored the most runs wins that minigame. Depending on the format that you're using, minigames will usually end up resulting with a World Series, and those are the ones that actually count. The, pre, the starting minigames are a regular season or preseason, if you will, and they just serve the purpose of helping you flesh out your deck because... All of the cards that you play, like I said, had a revenue number. So at the end of the minigame, win or lose, you get to count up your money that you got for these players. So for here, we got one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you can use that money, and there's a row of, of free agent cards that are available. And I'm just going to show you a couple of them here. Again, the red number is how much you pay, and then a blue, the green number is how much they also provide in future portions of the game. So you can, once you take one of these, you actually put it on the top of your deck and send one of your lesser players to the minor leagues. So this is the way you actually improve your team by removing players from who are rookies and veterans and then replacing them with these free agents that you'll draw on your next mini game. So now one of the neat things about this system is you can actually keep track of stats in sort of the same way you do with baseball and I've put posted on board game geek a score sheet now you use this just like a regular baseball score sheet that you would in real life and through the magic of editing I can show you this is a 
score sheet that I took in a World Series. No, this is an extra inning game, so we actually went seven players deep, and you take score. So leadoff batter for L.A. Hornsby got a single, and then he had another box that actually was taken away because Clemens, the pitcher for Boston, takes one of those hits away. And so, and they had their own triple. And you can go back and forth. And this way, you can actually keep RBIs, stolen bases, home runs, number of outs. In this game, it was of note that there was a robbed home run at the bottom of the sixth inning to actually keep the game tied. It was 4-4 going into the bottom of the sixth, or going after six innings, and it ended up being 8-7. to seven. Kind of a wild and crazy affair, but a fun and memorable one nonetheless. This game really shines in the fact that you are building your team up over the course of a season. And this is really the way actual baseball operates. The team that you are at the beginning of the season is not even close to the team that you are by the end of the season. And as your team takes on new free agents and continues to develop an identity of its own, you really connect with your deck, your team, in that same way. And you don't really have that sort of experience, that sort of attachment in any other deck building games. So this game really just brings it all together in a very neat and tidy package. If you like deck building games, you're going to like this game. If you like baseball, you're going to like this game. If you like baseball and you like deck building games, oh my goodness, stop what you're doing right now and play this. This is absolutely what you should be playing right now. I'm going to tell you, it's one of my favorite games of 2015 already. It will be on my top 100 list uh, come the end of the year. I can guarantee it. Baseball highlights 2045. Don't be don't be discouraged by the Kickstarter pricing. The there were many expansions that were included with the Kickstarter, and because they had enough to produce the game, but not enough to be totally successful, those expansions were planned stretch goals. Well, they never really could stretch far enough, and so instead of just not printing them at all, they allow the backers to pay additional money for each uh, extra expansion above the first two. I'm Ray, and I thank you for watching these videos. If you want to follow me on Twitter and find out what other gaming hijinks I'm up to, you can follow me at Inst Game Review. We're also on Facebook. Search Instant Game Review. You can, by all means, please subscribe to the channel. That's the only way that the channel can continue growing is by you subscribing, and I thank everyone who's already done that so far. Again, thank you so much. God bless you. And we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.